Warning, turn off electricity before working on any electrical wires. Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a GFCI outlet that is broken. This is in my grandson's bedroom. And so I'm going to take it out and show you what to do. I have already turned the electricity off by flipping the breaker for this room and the main panel and checked it to be sure that there's no electricity here. Remove the two screws on the outside that hold the wall plate on and then remove the wall plate from the wall. Next, you'll want to remove the two screws that holds the outlet to the box that's mounted in the wall. These two screws are a little bit longer and will take a little more time to remove them. Pull the outlet out of the box. You will notice that the two wires connected to the top are labeled load and the two wires connected to the bottom are labeled line. It's very important that you do not let these wires get mixed up. Loosen the screws and remove the wires from each terminal. You'll have one black and one white wire connected to the two bottom terminals and you'll have one black and one white wire connected to the two top terminals. You will also have a copper wire that is connected to the green lug for a ground. As you remove these wires, bend them in a direction so that you will not get them crossed up. It's very important that the wire coming from the breaker box is connected to the two terminals that is labeled line and then the other wire that feeds the other outlets in the rest of the room it is connected to the top to the terminals that's labeled load. Here I am checking my wires to make sure that they did not get crossed up on me and that they're still bent in the right direction. Reattach all the wires back to the terminals that you removed them from. On this outlet, you slide the wire down inside the little hole and then tighten up the screw and that will hold the wire in place. Make sure you have the screw tight enough that the wire will not pull back out.
when you get all of the wires connected, you will have two black wires on the right hand side and you will have two white wires on the left hand side. But the black and the white wire on the bottom are the ones that were labeled line and they're the ones coming from your main breaker box. And the black and the white wire on the top are the two wires that are connected to your other outlets and they are on the one that's labeled load. Very important that you do not get these wires crossed up. Attach the copper wire to the green lug. Make sure the outlet is turned up in the right direction and push it back into the box. Sometimes you need to bend the wires downward and push a little upward on the outlet to get the wires to bend to go back into the box. Tighten the two screws that holds the outlet into the box. Put the wall plate cover back on and replace the two screws that holds the wall plate cover. Okay, now I will go and flip the breaker back on to turn the electricity on so we can test it. Okay, everything's working fine. I hope this video will help you out. If you will, please leave comments and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day.